Hello, welcome to the business slot. Now, going to the cinema might not sound like a big deal, but for film fans in Saudi Arabia, today is the first time in 35 years that they can attend a commercial cinema screening. AMC has opened the first cinema in the kingdom since they were all closed in the 1970s, and they're launching tonight with a screening of Black Panther. Well, joining us now is Ganem Nasebi, founder of management consultancy Cornerstone Global Associates. Thank you for joining us on the news channel. Just how significant is this? This is very significant. Um, it's significant on many fronts, social, political and economic. It is part of the reforms, dare I say, revolution being spearheaded by the young and ambitious and popular Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. Um, up, to, up to today, Saudi youth, the median age in Saudi Arabia is 30 compared to, for example, to 40 in, in Britain, um, were not able to go to cinemas. They had to go to neighboring countries and spend $30 billion a year outside of Saudi Arabia. Now they're able to do what normal people do in other parts of the world, uh, which is do what they like to do in Saudi Arabia legally, improving the economy. It's part of the empowerment of the youth and it's part of the overall empowerment of, of, of the Saudi citizen, both youth and women. So it is very significant economically, socially and politically. Uh, just put it in context for those who might not be familiar, these changes that the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman is spearheading, what changes is he making to the country? He's, he's making a lot of changes on the social front. He's, he's empowering women. Women until a few months ago were not a, a, able to drive cars. Now they're allowed to do that. He's empowering the youth. He's turning the kingdom into a meritocracy where merit gives you um, a, a greater power rather than connections. He's fighting corruption with the Ritz-Carlton um, that we remember a few months ago. And, and mo most importantly, I think, he's sidelining the, the conservative elements of the religious establishment who used to tell the youth, who used to tell Saudi society, you can do this and you can't do that. Now he's telling them, if you want to be a religious and conservative, you can do so, but you can't tell other members of society who want to be liberal and open and do what other people in the other parts of the world do uh, to do so. So he's, he's liberalizing the country on all three fronts, empowering as well the economy, opening up opportunities for Saudis and for partners of Saudi Arabia uh, to do business in Saudi Arabia and overseas. Yeah, you talk about the opening up those opportunities uh, for overseas companies to do business in Saudi Arabia. Are there opportunities there for British businesses? Absolutely. I, th I think Britain is one of the countries that, is, that stands to benefit most out of the, uh, uh, of the foreign partners of Saudi Arabia from the opening up. Um, already tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of Britons um, uh, benefit from trade with Saudi Arabia. This will significantly increase. There will be more business between Saudi Arabia and Great Britain over the next months and years. Okay, Ghanem Nusebi from Cornerstone Global Associates, thank you very much for your time. My pleasure. Now, the price of what we buy is still rising, but not by as much as it was.